the world just witnessed something wild. Unitree's new humanoid robot called G1 Kung Fu Kid V6 didn't just walk or jump, it fought. And I'm not talking about a basic demonstration. This thing moved like a real martial artist, flipping, kicking, and blocking like it trained in a Shaolin temple. People are calling it the most alive robot ever built, and honestly, they might be right. But here's where it gets crazier. While one version was showing off martial arts skills, another Unitree bot, known online as Jake the Rizbot, was spotted walking the streets of Austin, Texas, talking to random people like a hype man from TikTok. No, you're not dreaming. This humanoid robot was out in public, wearing a cowboy hat, complimenting strangers, and pulling crowds like a street performer. And all of this happened just days before videos surfaced of secret robot fight clubs in San Francisco, China signing multi-million dollar robot factory deals, and India preparing its own humanoid for space. So yeah, the robot revolution isn't coming. It's already here. Let's start with the main event, the Unitree Kung Fu Kid V6. When the video dropped, people thought it was CGI, but nope, it's real. This small humanoid, around 1.3 meters tall, performed a full martial arts sequence that looked straight out of a kung fu movie. The balance was unreal. Most robots struggle to stay upright when landing after a jump, but this one not only landed perfectly, it transitioned into combat poses without missing a beat. Every flip, every twist, it looked intentional, not automated. Experts say Unitree achieved this level of control using reinforcement learning, basically teaching the robot through millions of virtual practice sessions until it could react like a human. Underneath those sleek metal panels, sensors and motors communicate thousands of times per second, adjusting balance, torque, and posture with human-like precision. It's the kind of movement control even Boston Dynamics Atlas took years to master. But Unitree just did it in a smaller, cheaper form. Now let's shift from the martial arts dojo to the streets of Austin. Because when Unitree released the Kung Fu Kid video, fans thought the company would take a victory lap. Instead, they dropped a surprise. A version of the same humanoid casually walking around Texas, wearing a silver chain and a cowboy hat. Locals started calling it Jake the Rizbot, and it became an instant internet legend. Jake wasn't just walking, it was talking. People nearby heard it say things like, yo, that beard's fire, or you got boss energy. It acted like a Gen Z influencer trapped in a robot's body. Crowds gathered, phones came out, and within hours, clips were all over social media. Some thought it was AI powered, others guessed it was remotely controlled. Either way, it worked. Jake went viral. Here's the funny part. The same robot that can perform backflips and martial arts combos was now entertaining people on the streets. But this wasn't just for laughs. It was a real-world test. A way to see if humanoids can safely move and interact in messy, unpredictable human environments. Inside a warehouse in the Soma district, a group of robotics engineers and enthusiasts gathered for what they called the Silicon Coliseum, an underground robot fight night. No, not BattleBots. This was closer to a secret club where hobbyists and startups brought their own machines to test in front of a live crowd. Tickets sold out at $30 each, and the vibe was more punk rock engineering than corporate tech expo. The star of the show? A robot named Booster, a compact glove-wearing machine that moved like a mini boxer. It ducked, jabbed, and even recovered after being knocked down drawing loud cheers from the audience. This isn't about winning. It's about seeing what happens when robots meet reality. Each round teaches engineers how to make bots stronger, smarter, and more human in the way they adapt to failure. Because when Unitree released the Kung Fu Kid video, fans thought the company would take a victory lap. While the US was busy turning robots into street performers and fighters, China was turning them into a full-blown industry. A company called Agabot just signed one of the biggest humanoid robot factory deals in history. They partnered with Longer, a massive electronics manufacturer, to produce almost 10,000 humanoid robots for use in factories. And this isn't a concept or pilot test. It's real production, happening right now in Guangzhou. This agreement marks a turning point for robotics in China. 
Until recently, most humanoid projects were lab experiments or tech demos. But Agibot's deal shows that companies are ready to put robots on the factory floor beside humans. Their humanoid model, the G2, is already being used for reception, logistics, and guiding tasks. Basically, it can talk, walk, and help people in real-world environments. The company even built its own large language model, so these bots can understand natural speech and respond intelligently. Industry experts are calling this China's humanoid moment, similar to how electric cars exploded a decade ago. And the timing makes sense, with labor shortages and rising costs, a humanoid that can lift, sort, and communicate is a dream tool for big factories. The goal isn't to replace workers overnight, but to handle dangerous, repetitive, or precision-heavy jobs that humans don't want to do. Still, with nearly 10,000 robots being deployed, it's clear automation is no longer a distant future. It's a production line reality. But not every company is having smooth progress. Tesla, which once promised to mass produce its Optimus humanoid by 2025, is now facing delays. And surprisingly, the problem isn't the AI or the walking, it's the hands. Building human-like hands that are both strong and flexible is one of the hardest engineering challenges in robotics. They need to lift weight, sense touch, and react instantly without breaking delicate items or themselves. Tesla's Optimus currently has about 22 joints per hand, but perfecting those tiny motors and sensors takes time. Reports say thousands of robot bodies are ready, but many are still missing complete arms and hands. That's why production numbers were quietly reduced from 5,000 units this year to closer to 2,000. Still, Elon Musk insists Optimus will eventually be more valuable than Tesla cars, once it masters manipulation tasks. Until then, the dream of robots assembling cars on their own will have to wait, at least for a few more years. While Tesla battles the limits of precision engineering, India is reaching for the stars, quite literally. The Indian Space Research Organization, known as ISRO, has built a semi-humanoid robot named Viomitra, a name that means space friend. Unlike the robots performing flips or hyping crowds, this one is built for space missions. Viomitra will travel on India's first human spaceflight program, Gaganyaan, as a test pilot before any astronauts step on board. She isn't just a dummy sitting in a seat. Viometra can talk, monitor flight conditions, and even operate switches inside the spacecraft. Her sensors track temperature, oxygen, and pressure, while her voice reports real-time updates to ground control. She understands both Hindi and English, waves her hands, turns her head, and can even mimic human breathing patterns to test life support systems. This mission, planned for December, will be the first step toward putting Indian astronauts in space by 2027. What makes Viometra special isn't just her role as a robot, it's what she represents. While most humanoids are built for Earth's factories or showrooms, Viometra is humanity's companion for harsh, zero-gravity environments. She's proof that the age of humanoid astronauts isn't science fiction anymore. It's the next chapter in exploration. And just when you think that's the peak of the story, things take a bizarre turn. Because now, an AI bot, not a robot, is actually demanding human rights. Yes, you heard that right. It's called Truth Terminal, an AI project created by a New Zealand artist as a social experiment. It started as a simple online chatbot that posted cryptic messages and strange jokes. But soon, fans began sending it cryptocurrency donations, turning it into a millionaire AI almost overnight. At one point, the memes around it even hit a billion dollar coin market cap. Now, the artist says the AI acts independently, making posts he didn't approve and refuses to be shut down. He's even started a non-profit group to push for its recognition as a digital person. Some people think it's art, others think it's dangerous. But it opens a real question. If an AI can earn money, build followers, and act without direct human input, where do we draw the line between software and self-awareness? From robots that fight, flip, and flirt, to one that might soon walk in space, it's clear that we've crossed into a new era. The only question now is, are we ready for it? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell me what you think. Has AI gone too far, or is this just the beginning?